Hi, Rich Spazano from Digitally Fearless. I just did this tutorial on the desktop version of Affinity Photo, and now I'm doing it on the iPad version. And what I'm going to show you is how to take a black and white photo and steal skin tones from other color photos to make it look more realistic when you're coloring a photo. And you can use different people's skin tones, so it's a great way to start. And before we get started, please click that like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it because it really helps out my channel and most people don't know I'm now doing iPad versions of the tutorials also. So let's get started. So I pulled in another photo and this is the photo I pulled in. I want to take his skin tone or close to his skin tone and try and put it on the black and white photo. The way I started this off to make the tutorial quicker is I took the black and white, white photo, I duplicated it, and that's this one right here. This is the black and white, I'll hide that. Then I duplicated it, and what I did, I'll put this under, hide that here, is I added a mask so when we do the work, we're just going to do it on the face. So I found a skin tone that I kind of like and I want to try and match it up. Now you'll never get it perfect because it's the lighting and the way how light this photo is and how dark this photo might be considered the way the lighting was on the person, but you can get it fairly close. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to hide him. I'm going to go to the one below it. That's the guy with the mask and I'm going to do adjustment. And if you don't know where the adjustment studio is, hold down on the question mark and you'll see it's right there. So I'm going to hit Adjustments, and I'm going to do Gradient Map. And then I'm going back to my layers. Now I want that Gradient Map only to be on the masked guy. So I'm going to move that right on top of him. So the way Gradient Map works, and I showed you in another tutorial, is the left side are the shadows, the middle are the midtones, and the right, which is blue right now, are the highlights. And you can see this photo here really is pretty bright. It has a lot of highlights. So I hope this works. We'll just give it a chance on this one and we'll see. So I'm going to turn this guy back on right here. And then I'm double tapping on the gradient to bring it back up. And what I'm going to do is try and match him. So if I get really close, I want to find the darkest part of his skin. And the shadows are pretty dark here. I'm not sure if I should go that far because the other one didn't really have shadows like that. But I am going to make an attempt. So let's see. So we take the red here, which is the left, is shadows. And we go to the eyedropper tool. And I'm going to pick something like that. And, we, and that's that one. Then we go to the midtones, which is the green. We're going to go here and maybe find another midtone. I'm not sure which, so let's go back to here. And we'll take this. And I'm thinking close to somewhere like that is a good midtone. I hope. <laughs> and then I'll go to the right one right here. Choose that, which is the highlights. And I think the highlights on this one, come on, there we go. I think the highlights on this one would be the tip of the nose because that's pretty bright right there. And now I'm just going to turn this guy off, his layer off, and let's bring us back down. And this is what it looks like. It doesn't really look good. It's very flat, but we can get that to work. So let's go back to him and let's oh, let's go back to the gradient map. I'm sorry. And we're going to change that to a different mode. So instead of normal, I'm going to try, and you need to try different things depending on the photo. I think I'm going to try overlay on this one. And so let's go back. And again, it's too light. So uh, what I'll do now is duplicate it. So I'll go here, edit, duplicate. And it's a little weird reddish color. I'm not sure if I'm going to like that. But let's stay with that just for now. So what I'm going to do now is go once again to adjustments. And this time, I think I'll try, there it is, levels. And in levels, I am going to move the gamma. So let's see if I can move the gamma a little bit this way and make it a little darker there. And then we can check out the white outputs. And I, I'm looking now, and what it's doing is it's affecting the whole photograph. So I'm going back to here. And remembering I got to put this right back on top of him so it's not affecting the black and white. 
Let's see what other... I know how to work the tools in the desktop, so I'm trying to learn them here. So let's just go here. Uh, we have output black, so we can make that a little bit darker like that. Output white, we can decide how much, and the gamma will tell us here. And you notice what's happening now. It's not just a flat painting, like with the color blend mode, you just paint tan on it or something with skin tone on it. You can actually see the shade. You see how that's darker? And this is, you know, the, the skin tones are actually different. It's not just following the black underneath. It's some really nice skin tones in here. I mean, you can add more black. You could decide how dark you want it to be or how light. But I'm kind of thinking this is okay. I feel like he's a little bit, to be honest with you, I feel like he's a little bit too red. But I could fix that later on on the red tones later on. So what I can do now, I think that I think that's working. And I don't I think that's fine just as is, but we can try and I'm, I don't know if I'll even go far, too far with this. I can try once again going to adjustments and maybe curves. And instead of master, I'm going to take the reds and take that and move this out of the way. And see if I can bring the reds down just a little. See that? I can move it different skin tones like that and I think that one's much better remember the way I masked him don't follow this I mean I did mask out some eyes here but you notice the beard and the lips and all around here are red that wouldn't normally be red you should all mask that out whoops you should mask that whole thing out and make a decision on what you want to do with the rest of it what I was just trying to show you here is how you can get some really interesting skin tones depending on what you want them to look like you could pick a skin tone from pretty much any photo but just remember lighting in different photos are, are slightly off so you might have to make some adjustments so i hope you liked this tutorial and if you did please click that like and subscribe and have a great day thanks so much bye